Hello, I've returned today with another ADH Wealth Solution. Today, we'll begin to discuss fulfilling all of your financial needs. In this video, we review an article by Dion Bowen, digging deeper into information about the current jobs market. As always, this is a basic description. For an evaluation of your own, please schedule an appointment. My information is in the description box. Lastly, make sure you drop a comment, hit that like, and if you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. Inequality decreased for most of 2021, but picked up in May, the index shows. A 2021 article by Dion Rabone. The coronavirus pandemic has rocked the U.S. economy in a myriad of ways. One of the most important has been the impact on economic inequality, which has been spotlighted by top economists, including Fed Chair Jerome Powell. Why it matters. It is a growing subject of discussion among everyday Americans and carries weight among economists namely because persistent or increasing inequality can cast doubt on the fairness of America's economic system and undermine the sustainability of economic growth. What it is, unlike the well-known Gini coefficient, the Morning Consult slash Axios Inequality Index does not measure the distribution of income or wealth. It measures the movement of inequality how much it has increased or decreased based on four important economic variables detailed below. The index measures economic outcomes across income groups on a monthly basis to show whether the U.S. is becoming more or less economically equal. What it says. Having tracked data through Morning Consult's daily survey of 260,000 Americans a month, the index shows that inequality decreased for most of 2021, but picked up in May. What it means? We had unprecedented stimulus in December and then again in March. And over that period of time, we've seen the Morning Consult slash, slash Axios Inequality Index decrease. But we're now at a point in May where the sugar high from the second and third stimulus has worn off. Morning Consult Chief Economist John Lear tells me in an interview. State of play. Following the passage of the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan in March, inflation worries have grown and congressional Republicans have pushed back against big spending stimulus measures. Even President Biden's infrastructure proposals, which are paid for by fees and increased taxes on the wealthy. That makes another stimulus package unlikely and could mean that in September, when, un when enhanced unemployment benefits and eviction and foreclosure moratoriums expire, many of the nation's low-income residents will be on their own and facing major liabilities. Be smart. The way policymakers had hoped this would play out is we would have the December stimulus and then the American Rescue Plan that would jumpstart consumer spending and that would result in an increase in employment, which would be sustained as the economy reopened over the summer, Lear says. Side note, outside of the article, I've been saying that to people, this is the time to go and do your effery with this money. It's a uh, stimulus. So they need you to not pay bills, but to go buy your Jordans so that you can stimulate the economy so that you can have a job to pay bills. Now back to the article. Given the disappointing jobs report that we saw last month and decreases in retail spending in April, as well as it's unclear that we're in its self-sustaining economic recovery mode right now. The bottom line. The index is showing that without another lifeline lower, excuse me, the index is showing that without another lifeline lower income, Americans could be in for a difficult 2021, which would challenge the lofty growth expectations economists and asset managers have laid out for this year. We're at another turning point where we had these four months of decreasing inequality and now we can see how the economy responds in the absence of such intense
fiscal intervention, Lear adds.